Hey friends, before we start today's episode, I have an important message to share with you. As you must be aware, due to certain new policies, you are not able to comment on our videos. But don't you worry my friends, you can still share your valuable feedback, comments, views and love at our email ID peekabookidsfeedback at gmail.com. Similarly, you can also visit our Instagram and Facebook page and continue to engage with us. We are looking forward to hearing from you. Kitty, stop! Hey little kitty, I know these headphones are of no use to us now. But it isn't the correct way to dispose it off, as it's an e-waste and might end up polluting the environment. E-waste? Yes, Kitty, an e-waste. Hey friends, just like Kitty, many of us might not be aware of the potential danger caused by electronic devices we discard as waste. So, in today's episode, let us understand how this e-waste pollution is affecting us and the environment and find out the way to overcome it. Zoom in! We live in a technologically flooded era where devices such as cell phones, computers, television and many more have become a part of our lives. But when these devices stop serving their purpose, they become e-waste and are thrown away by us using improper disposal methods that could affect many lives on Earth soon. Yes, because these devices are made of toxic substances that include polyvinyl chloride, mercury, lead, chromium, beryllium, cadmium, gallium, arsenide, etc. And when exposed to nature, these chemicals enter the air, water and soil, which further ends up into our bodies, eventually harming us. But how? How do these devices affect the environment? For example, suppose you exchange the new TV set with the old one from the shop. Now, you might think, that once the shop sends the old TV to the factory, they will recycle the old product. But unfortunately, that doesn't happen every time. Sometimes, instead of recycling, these factories burn the parts to gain metals like gold, copper, etc. from these devices. And during this process, these parts emit harmful elements such as hydrocarbons, brominated dioxins and other heavy particles into the air which is ultimately inhaled by humans and other animals. Well, not only the air but these particles also have the property to penetrate into the soil harming its nutritional value that is absorbed as food by the plants that are ultimately eaten up by the animals and even end up on our plates. But wait, it doesn't end there. After harming the air and soil, these harmful particles go ahead and gets mixed with the water that is present underground and degrades its quality that is consumed by animals and even ends up at our homes through tap water. And if this destruction of natural resources by e-waste continues at this alarming rate, soon things will turn critical for our environment and can harm the entire planet. Hence, we must do something immediately to stop it by following a few small steps that could help us to get rid of this rapidly growing pollution. The first thing we can do is avoid throwing away broken and outdated devices. 
Instead, you can transfer them to your friends or relatives or to whomsoever who can make the most out of it. And if you don't have to pass them on, you can take them to the manufacturing companies who can recycle them. Also, another critical step you can take is making people aware of it. Yes, you can arrange an e-waste drive in your schools and colleges to educate them about the proper disposal of electronic waste. Trivia time! Did you know we humans generate around 40 million tons of electronic waste every year worldwide? Which is equivalent to disposal of 800 laptops every second. Also, reports estimate that although almost all of the e-waste is recyclable, only 12.5% of e-waste is currently recycled. Now, that's sad. Really, really sad. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!